Ready? Let's uh, finish up Crash. Twonk. Let's twonk this shit up, not to be confused with Twonk. Well, here we are again. I wouldn't necessarily call this irony, but don't you find it a little odd that we keep meeting under these same world domination circumstances? Why not just give up? And let me win for once! Don't worry, Dr. Cortex. Now that my elemental powers have reached maximum capacity, this little geek is gonna wish he was never created. This looks fun. This game isn't bad. I know I keep saying that, but it's not bad. A few levels are bad, but like overall it's not bad. Uh-uh. So how's... Oh, I should probably lower. Is this better? Audio? Are we good? Everything set up correctly and all that? Why do people think this game is bad? I honestly don't know. You'd have to ask them. Like, I can tell you what I think is bad. I think the movement's not that good. It's a little too floaty and it's not fast enough. But that could just be me being used to speedrunning the other Crash games, so I don't exactly know if that's, like, an accurate complaint. Um, the bosses all suck, but, like, the bosses kind of suck in most of the games, so... The graphics are wonderful. It's a few like odd things here and there, but overall the graphics are fantastic. What the? Hey, Wingmancer. Wingmancer, I want to 1v1 you in Halo at some point. Probably not tonight, but I don't know. Maybe tomorrow or something. Up. I'm trying to collect a bunch of 1v1s. Are you ready to face my wrath crush, Bandicoot? <laughs> Uploading Steel and Bread's 1v1 right now. You're working on your Doom 2 speedrun. Are you actually doing that? Because that's pretty epic if you are. If you can get sub two hours within a week, like that'd be pretty cool. No means. Oh, whoops, I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. I was uploading the video. Your goal is sub 129. We'll see about that. You whore! Stop calling me a whore! Oh, 
Oh, doggy, what, can I get your onion on that fucking chaser, like, blocking me and getting mad when I made a joke about fucking the donation sheet? Like, he was that triggered? Like, he actually wanted to, like, fuck me in the ass so hard that he got triggered when I said no, basically? That was really fucking funny. That guy was probably the funniest yet. Nice hole. One of these days they're gonna kill me. Oh my god. Don't mess with them. Why not, dude? It's fucking funny. Okay. What the? I was trying to jump there. Think, you think fucking chasers are actually dangerous? Like, what are they gonna do? Come to my fucking home and beat my fucking face in? Like, I doubt it. And look where we are! Oh, jeez. I like the environments here, it's pretty cool. It's actually pretty fun playing this game. It's definitely solid. Saudi Arabia? I think Wing Manter's just insane. Maybe he was having a bad weed trip. Let's go here. Oh, 
I really love the Crash Bandicoot theme, it's so epic. Hello, La Hiem. Thanks, bud. I appreciate it. At Doggy, here's another one. They just won't go away. What's your onion? Oh my god, Baku stop. gonna finish RE5? Interesting. I'm sorry by the way if my gameplay is a little shaky. Um, I'm trying to do a crypto thing. Like in between like deaths and level transitions and stuff. These, like, hangrail sections in this game are fucking awful. They're so slow. I was, I was trying to walk, like, backwards to look, look at Crash's face when he walks, because I think it's funny. But then I didn't realize that I was going to fall off. Hey, Lamau. Hi, Mimi Mau. Also, hello, Azarha. The music in this game overall is actually... The music in this game overall is actually pretty fucking good. This game overall is just actually just good. Like, it's just a good game. I was told this is gonna be bad, so I came into this with, like, very low expectations, but, like... 
I'm not gonna lie, it's it's good at like for real. It's good at. What do you want me to say? Oh, you cunts! Again, I'm sorry, I'm trying to do a crypto transaction, so I apologize so far. I just kind of like stop in place for a second. Good question, Alamel. You should ask uh, ask the staff. They might have some wise words. All right, that was a good level. For a final world, this is like it's just not super like dangerous I guess you could say for a final level does that make any sense like it doesn't feel like a final level I guess is what I mean to say bring it you brain dead bandicoot God. Okay, yeah, these levels fucking suck, Hawk. Um, for a demo attempt, no. World records are gauged on if they're a demo. If it's not a demo, it's irrelevant. Basically, like, for Doom, you can speedrun Doom without doing a demo attempt, right? But as soon as someone gets a demo attempt, that's automatically, like, more valid. So, like, if, say, six people are doing RTA runs, and some guy in fourth place, like, has the fourth best RTA run, RTA was with loading save, Say that guy gets a, uh, a single segment demo run, that is automatically the world record, regardless of the time. Some people like to say that their RTA runs are like more valid or like different categories or whatever. Personally, like no one, act like I don't give a shit, no one else like really gives a shit. Like it's fun, like you can do RTA runs, like that's no problem. Like it's like, it's not like it's anything wrong with that. It's just like, it's not a serious speedrun thing, you know what I mean? Demos and magazines, hell yeah. Oh, hey, Tiny. Oh, fuck. I really like how Tiny and the other bosses are in this shit. Like, that's cool as fuck. So I'm doing a Verge transfer. I've never done a Verge transfer before. I don't know how the Verge blockchain works and what the transfer times are gonna be, but I'm doing a Verge transfer, so. 
Navi mode, oh god. And take the discs. Oh my god, Alamo, did you ever get fucking caught? Alamo, please stop. You don't know what you're talking about? Yo. Transfer times are dependent based on which blockchain you're using. And I've never used Verge for a transfer before. Never got caught, god damn. Nineteen ninety five. Now, this is actually pretty interesting. Hi, Dingo Dial. Hi, Entropy. Darn. Oh fuck, I'm all the way back here. Hi, Brickrio. Brickrio, I 1v1 stealing bread and he's much better than you. Well, actually, it's difficult to gauge. I want to have our other 1v1 now. Not now, it's in like right now, but like before I make that statement, I want to have another 1v1. Is he more or less autistic? Honestly, I think Bread's significantly less autistic. I think you just suck, Brick Rio. Sorry to say. My sub. I guess not? <laughs> okay. Um. Three seventy-two for internal Steam price, by the way. Like, holy fuck! I really hope that we can have like four dollars stable for like a week. If we could have a stable four dollars for like a week, my goodness, at least a week. At least stable, as in like four dollars or higher. Obviously, I would prefer it go up, but. If Steam hits like six-ish dollars, then that would be like monthly income equivalent to stream me, so that'd be very nice. That'd be so fucking nice.
Alright, so I'm gonna guess I have to just follow the Wumpa fruit, like, all the way through. Alright, that level wasn't too bad. Alright, two more. I can, please. That's what I'm saying, Brick Ryu. That's what I'm saying. Fucking amateur hour. Drinking burr? Wow, what an American. I like this song. This is good. Nope. The only reason I know who it is is because you talk about him sometimes. <laughs> oh god. I don't like these like machines to be honest. actually kind of cool. Oh. One thing I want to say that's impressive about this game is the frame rate. The frame rate of this game is actually really good.
all the animations and like and the way the whole game just operates it's just so smooth I don't know how I didn't maybe I did notice that before like mention it I guess but that's probably one of the best parts about the game graphically I suppose it's just the frame rate is so fucking good for a crash game as well it's just crazy Vortex Vortex. What do we have here? Crash, you've been a naughty boy. But now that's going to end. Naughty naughty. Stop it. This level's very epic, yeah? Uh-oh. Oh shit, invincibility! This is my first one? First and only? That was not the greatest song. <laughs> it was good, but like, it didn't last long enough. Well, that was a short level. Congratulations, Crash. You should be proud of yourself. Not only have you collected all the crystals in record time, but you also defeated the elementals. Let Crunch and me be the first ones to congratulate you. 
by pummeling your sad bandicoot frame into a pulp. Come and get it. Well, that was kind of rude. That was a little bit rude. Why was he so rude? I do not understand, nor do I appreciate, how a, a literal mass murderer can just be accepted in polite society because he's, like, powerful. Hey, Lamo? He is responsible for the death of anyone and everyone who's ever died in North Korea, essentially. Skipped leg day. I don't understand, like, what am I supposed to be doing here? I, what, I don't get it. Like... What is the objective? One sec. Do you know that, Alamo? Yeah, that that's already what's happening. Like That's already what's happening. <laughs> and he's directly responsible for it because he steals all the country's resources. The ideal scenario would be to just fucking take him away or kill him and just rush in there and give supplies to every single person in that country and like literally save them. Like that would be the most humane thing to do my opinion. Doing this fucking bullshit. Oh yeah, we'll just wait till the end of the year. The war will be over. We'll slowly end the war. Like, you know, go fuck yourself. I don't understand the objective. What am I supposed to do? Does anyone know? Like, seriously? Get it. I tried that, but I died. See, that's what that's something to definitely consider. Come on, Joe. I would say, if anything, that's the most reasonable point. To not, like, just fucking destroy fucking North Korea's fucking hierarchy of power.
I don't understand what the... <laughs> what am I supposed to be doing here? I don't... Uh, what the fuck? Did I beat the game? Like, is this just a ruse or something? I don't get it. Like, here's the thing. A Lamal. We're involved in eight different fucking countries in the Middle East. Militarily. For no reason. We're not saving anybody. Right? It's not like a humanitarian, like, saving the people effort. We are in eight different Middle Eastern countries. Now, I would prefer no war in any context. But if there is a situation that I deem worthy of military... ...like intervention, it would be North Korea. Syria can go fuck itself. Iran can go fuck itself. Iraq can go, can go fuck itself. Like, all that shit can go fuck themselves. We don't need to be there. We don't need to be anywhere, but if we're going to be somewhere, I think we should be in North Korea. That's my onion. That's what I said yesterday. Mojo, that's what I was saying. Oh, I have a bazooka. Okay, that makes sense. Doppelganger. Oh shit. Fucking doppelganger. Take that guy from the Olympics. He was epic. I just don't understand how people can say you shouldn't be in North Korea and you shouldn't do anything militarily about North Korea while simultaneously thinking that bombing Syria is a good idea and that like all the t war on terror is a good idea. Fucking allies. like those, they're a little bit awkward. We're not threatened by anything, except debatably extreme asterisk Russia. Nothing else is even a remote fucking threat. God damn it. I was almost done there. You got me, Ozar Hawk. I was reading your message and I fucking got owned. Oh, 
Oh, you fucking cocksuck. God damn it, those are hot. What would I say? I'd be like, oh, hey, bud. God, just seeing that fat fuck, like, get out of a car and smile and wave at people is just, like, surreal. This shit should have been accomplished so long ago. And I also don't like the fucking we'll have the war done by the end of the year bullshit. That shit should be stopped now. This fucking end of the year bullshit that I keep reading is just like, no. If you're gonna stop this shit, stop it now. That's why I think that something more action, more action should be taken. Like if this whole thing would be like, oh yeah, S you know, SK and NK, or they're buds now, and like we're good, and we're gonna like start aiding North, Co uh, North uh, Korean civilians like immediately, then I'd be down with that. It should literally be instantaneous. Anything more than like, say a week, week maximum. There's like some bullshit going on and I don't trust it. That's all I'm saying. Is that it? That I beat the game? I don't understand why he keeps kicking Cortex off like that. That's a little bizarre, but... I mean, I hope for the best too, Alamau. I'm just saying, like, I don't trust North Korea. There's no reason to trust North Korea. It's North Korea. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Let me win. What do you want from me, you cretin? Cortex! You realize like, that Crash may have collected all the crystals, but he doesn't have the gems. With the gems, we can resurrect the masks one last time and destroy that bandicoot once and for all. Yeah, yeah, you and your fucking gems. Did I beat the game? Who the hell is this guy? This guy's epic. Alright, so that was Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex, the fourth main series Crash Bandicoot game. Backing up my Joe. This game is actually really good. Like, it's, I don't think it's anywhere near as good as the first three. Honestly, it's debatable. Like, the, th the main issue with this game is the gameplay is too floaty, and it's not fast enough. That's my main issue. Yeah, I saw, doggy. I'm aware. Overall, though, this game is surprisingly good. I wasn't expecting, like I said, I wasn't expecting it to be good. Which one is Gaddafi? I get all those fucking shitty names confused because they're all fucking irrelevant.
like a game. I like that. Libya. Ah, okay. Anyway, that's the game. Next Crash I'll be playing will be Crash Twin Sanity. So that should be fun.